All right, now we got it. We need a we need we need a marker, <laughs> just so we can have some kind of loud noise. Clap. All right, you need to move your like tilt your camera up just a little bit. Yep, tad bit down. There, no. Nope. There you go. There, there you go. <laughs> Oops. What? Just picking my nose. No. Oh. That's nasty. And now it's on the world for everybody to see. <laughs> At least I didn't need it. <laughs> We're gonna put that as a plus. <laughs> and it's like What else are we looking at here? Get over here. Oh, it's the legs of the table. I'm like, what are you beating something? <laughs> I entered it to uh Okay, I'm sorry. This is just you gotta see this. This is cool. This is cool. Got the dolphin to ask his girlfriend to marry him. That's cool. That's awesome. <laughs> Sorry. Wow, so the dolphin asked her to marry him, and she kisses the other guy right in front. <laughs> she kissed the other guy right in front of her. Rude-ass bitch. <laughs> oh, have you seen the... Uh, the, uh, the Let It Snow with Picard? No. Oh man, you haven't seen this? It's like a make it snow, but it's a let it snow. No, or make it, it so. It's make it so. Uh huh. Oh man. Hold on, I'll pull it up here. Oh, see, I should have tagged you in that picture I saw. It's a, it's a MacBook, mm -hmm. and somebody has it holding up their window. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, make it so, make it so, make it so. <laughs> Ma'am, it doesn't show signs of stopping. And I brought me some tea gray hot. <laughs> the lights are turned way down low. Make it so, make it so, make it so. Sure. When we finally kiss. Good night. How I hate going out in the storm. But if you... Really? Shut up, Wesley. <laughs> All the way home, I'll be... Warm. Oh, the fire is slowly dying. And I dear. We're still goodbye, then. But as long as you love me so... Make it so. Make it so. Make it so. It's awesome. <laughs> Hello. I entered I entered to win a uh TOS phaser laser pointer. Nice. <laughs> Which you could do like what I do with our laser pointer and use it to distract the to crap distract out of the cat. Or just chase the cats everywhere. And just be like, ha, pew, 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 pew. <laughs> just shoot Mr. Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kitty, you're dead. I was, I was aggravating Sonia. I was uh -oh. like, I, I brought myself farther in the living room. Like, <laughs> Mr. Kitty comes in. He's like, I'm like hey, see, look, Sonia, he likes me. I don't know what you're talking about. She's like, oh, no, it, it's temporary. <laughs> He's getting ready to bite you. <laughs> she, has such a, she has such a cute puppy. It's an Australian cattle dog chihuahua mix. Who? Morgan's dog. Oh. It's pronouns. What? Pronouns. You were just talking about Sonia. And then Sonia you said, and the cat. I don't know if... I've then seen you Sonya's said dogs. her. I've seen Sonia's dogs. Those aren't puppies anymore. Yeah. Anyways. Those are giant animals. <laughs> are you ready to get going? Yeah. All right. I need that one. Yep. There we go. Um. 
I don't know what I was thinking. I went brain dead for a second. It happens. Yeah. All right. Start in. Let's see. What am I hitting? It's a hoax. Nah. What was that? It's a hoax? Hulk smash. Oh, it's a Hulk smash. There we go. Oh, here we go. We're going to do this one. All right. Start in three, two, one. Go. With such extraordinary gentlemen like these, you should be glad you joined Obsessive Comics Disorder. there everyone and welcome back to another episode of obsessive comics disorder episode number 41 i'm your host my name's chris renshaw and that's my co-host over there it's philip hey guys what's going on it is sunday december 10th 8th close enough (laughs) and in case you're wondering this is a show about all around geekiness and the stuff we obsess over The stuff we just blew our minds over. And so we're gonna have to clean that up later. That's that's nasty. (laughs) Got to get some squeegees out. (laughs) Ashray. Did you like how clean up on aisle four? Got the get the new iPad worked in here. Got the new iPad. Yeah, my my Christmas present right here from from iPad. Me, it's black. It's not silver. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. It's the uh, space gray. It's the, it's the stealth version. The space gray. <laughs> you can just leave it on your table and no one will know it's there. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice. I like the size because I can like just about any of my jackets, it's big enough to fit in the pocket. Really? That's yeah, cool. so I can just carry it with me. I've always wondered about, uh, okay, you know, we, we always put pockets and stuff on the front of our jackets and shirts and all that crap. Uh-huh. You know, we got a lot of real estate going on in the back there. Yeah, but... A, pockets are mainly for, like, you know, your hands. You're not going to put your hand, like, in your back. And also, that doesn't keep someone from just walking. Zip. Snag. Zip. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm just, you know, it's like, there's a lot of real estate going on. The, right there's there. a reason that you don't have it on your back. Just internal pockets. Then you get sweaty. Like, your back gets really sweaty. Or, like, if you sit back in a chair and you've now crushed it. Big old piece of padding on the back. Okay. Get a big old piece of like memory foam padding on the back. Now, that's okay. just being excessive. Then, that's just going to weigh you excited. down. How much does memory foam weigh? I don't know. Like, not that much. It'd be yeah. like just sticking a pillow in there, okay? That'd just be awkward. Yeah, but then you sit down, you, get, hey, you, have, you have extra support. And like, if you go to a church and oh. they just had like the standard wood pews, nothing. I don't know yeah. why I have it just on me. There we support. go. That's okay. It happens. Behind on the video. It happens. Yeah, people are. Nobody's watching anyway. They're just listening. <laughs> driving to work. While they're sitting at work, you know, <laughs> driving the four hours to go 10 miles to work on the Beltway. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, I hated the Beltway. I'm actually glad I don't have to drive the Beltway anymore. Yeah, I know, it's right? Like, oh, man, it's so ridiculous. So, thanks. If anyone out there listening to this works near the Beltway, you are very, some very patient people. Just yeah. Put that out there. Thanksgiving happened. Thanksgiving happened. How was That's your right. Thanksgiving? I made pumpkin bread French toast. Really? That sounds like a lot of work for so you. Freaking. I mean, okay, well, I bought the bread pre made. Right. <laughs> I went to Bob Evans. Bob Evans has pumpkin breads that they sell. They uh-huh. bake them fresh and they sell them like. Yeah. And so you just made French toast just out of it? Just made that. French toast out of it. It's so. Oh, man. I think I had the diabetes now. <laughs> diabetes. I, I caught the diabetes. <laughs> I was telling some of my people at work. <laughs> I was telling some of my people at work what I was making for breakfast on Thanksgiving, and they were like, I just caught diabetes. Just from listening to that. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, it was good. Had a small couple people from the family over. It was great. Yeah. Didn't have to deal with 900 levels of drama. That was not, that would have been, uh, or that was, that was nice for us as well. We went, uh, it was just me, Ashley and Chloe stayed up here. They didn't want to drive down with me to... I went down to North Carolina. We went and stayed at Beach House. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, you saw that? I saw that picture. This is what Thanksgiving morning looks like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there, this, this house was four stories. Oh. The bottom story was like the garage. Okay. We have like the garage, but there's a little like walkway area too. Yeah. 
And then, so, it also has an elevator. Like, the house has an elevator. Nice. Up in the, the middle of the house. And so, you know, main floor is, like, kitchen, dining room, um, living room. And then there's, like, even another area and then another uh, a small office slash bedroom off the side. Okay. Which goes out onto a deck, which goes out to a beach because there's a beachfront house. Sweet. And then the next floor is, the like, a bunch of the living spaces. There's two... Two smaller rooms that have two bunk beds and sets of bunk beds. Okay. And then in the back is where me and my brother stayed. There was two queen bedrooms, so we each got one. Onto another walkout deck, which goes down to the other deck and then out to the to the beach. Very nice. And then the top floor is like the two master suites. Okay. Which like one of them had like a jacuzzi and stuff, and that's where my my uncle and and his wife and then my mom and dad stayed up there. Sweet. Pretty awesome house. And we just didn't leave the house for the, for I leave the house. the three days or whatever I was there. It really only leaving the house you would do is like, oh, we're going to go on the porch. Yeah. We <laughs> actually went out on the beach for a couple, for a while. Cause it was like, ended up getting to in the like fifties. Yeah. So it was nice. That's how it was at the beginning of this week. Yeah. And it's like, and 50, now it's snowing. 60 and now there's frost on my car. And it's like, <laughs> this is, come on. All right. Hey, maybe we'll be like delayed getting into work. That's fine for you. <laughs> pay by the hour, okay? Gotta... I'm not clocked in. I'm not getting paid. Oh yeah, good point. So, <laughs> I took like half the board game closet. You know, I just like I took it all with. <laughs> you know, I got like I got like uh, my my uh, a book bag with like or I got a, the Xbox book bag. I brought it because my brother wanted me to bring the Xbox. Yeah. And then I have like a small duffel bag of clothes and then like three bags full of board <laughs> games. And that's what I took down. And then another backpack that had a couple more games in it. There you go. Hey. And that I played amazing. probably half of them. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Got, got my parents hooked on a couple of new games. Uh, I bought my dad an early cr- uh, birthday present because his birthday is the day after Christmas. And I okay. usually am not there. So I'm always giving it to him late. So I thought I'd give it to him early. Plus, I got him a board game, so I got it to a, gave it to him so we could play it. There you go. Uh, it was this game called Memoir Forty Four. Mm. It's a, a World War II war game where you have this board that's pretty generic. Like one side's kind of like a forest, and the other side's a beach. But they have all these little terrain tiles that you can put all over the map to change the map into like one of sixteen scenarios. Like one's like Omaha Beach, and, okay. one, and all these different like battles. And then one person is the Axis, one person is the Allies, and you set up all the all of your guys dependent on the scenario. And then, uh, sorry, get the fan on, get some air circulating. <laughs> and then so, and then you uh, instead of just like moving your guys like risk, mm-hmm. you have you have you have to give them orders. And what happens is, is you have this hand of command cards. Okay. And so on your turn, you place a card, but. The board's split into like three sections. There's your left flank, your center flank, and your middle flank. Okay. And you play a card, and the card may be like, order one troop on your left flank. And one may be like, order one troop in all flanks. Oh. And, or like, order everyone in the center flank. And so you can only do, you have to like balance the cards in your hand and be like, well, he's attacking me here. I really need to, but I need to wait because I only have one of these cards. And I don't know if I'm going to get another one. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to go over here instead. But uh, and then you have victory points you work towards, and whoever gets the the victory point, like it was like four for the one we did. Mm-hmm. Whoever gets that first wins, which I won, being the Axis. Yeah. But it was funny because I I won the point totals, but there was still like a ton of armies out there. My dad's like, I want to keep going. Like, <laughs> there's still guys on the field there's still, here. There's still battles. We what can do you? Do. He's like, what do you mean you won? You've still got guys. <laughs> I've still got guys. There's no winner here. And over to the fat lady sings, man. I'm like, yeah, but you don't realize that, like, if we played this out until one team was out, I would always lose because you started the the map with like tons of people. Yeah, <laughs> that's the only way I win. <laughs> what was uh? It was it was the game on uh the game on Family Guy. What was that? It was uh something some game Cleveland had, and Uh-oh. it was something about the uh. Something about civil rights and all the, all the integration and all that stuff. He's like, yeah, you don't really win. You just do a little better each time. 
I was like, that's horrible. That sucks to be a game. So uh, Black Friday happened. Black Friday happened. Did you, did you end up, end up getting no, any? No, sir. But you got some afterwards, like Cyber Monday, whatever. When did you get? Uh, I did. Uh, actually, uh, I picked up uh, StarCraft Two. They were... I picked it up on December 4th. I think I picked it up. Okay. Something like that. And yeah, picked the it up. The Heart of the Swarm. Heart of the Swarm. Picked it up on December 4th uh, because there was an ad when I pop, popped up Hearthstone and the... Uh, well, because like the you Blizzard... You actually played Hearthstone? I didn't play Hearthstone. Every time I turn my computer, the whole Blizzard thing pops up. Oh, okay. Launcher, and it had an article on there and it was like, oh, hey, yeah, you know... 50 to 75 percent off sale i'm like oh, that's kind of awesome let me see what's going on and so it's like 50 percent off blizzard or 50 percent off heart of the swarms i'm like yeah yeah that's 20 bucks what's 20 bucks that's that's two days of fast food so i don't have two days of fast food big whoop <laughs> okay <laughs> like i really need it i need to go to the gym is what i need to do <laughs> <laughs> two days of gym work that's two what days you... of gym work that's what it is <laughs> <laughs> so i I pick it up, I, I go, I click on it and everything, and uh, it says full price. And I'm like, what, what are you guys talking about? So I went through, and I created a support ticket. And I was like, uh, hey, guys, uh, yeah, I saw this article that says it's 50% off, and the sale's been extended from December 2nd to, like, January 4th. Yeah, I saw that. It's like they completely extended the sale, but it's still full price. Didn't get a reply back from my support ticket. At first, I thought my computer screwed up. I... Uh, I hit refresh, which submitted a second ticket. Oh, God. Because I was trying to live chat with the people. And the live chat wouldn't work. But then I remembered live chat, for some reason, wasn't working on some stuff with uh, Internet Explorer because yeah. they just put a new one out and it messed everything up. So I popped over to Chrome, and live chat still wasn't working, but I submitted a third ticket. Oh, God. <laughs> so then I, went, I deleted the first two tickets, and I waited for like half an hour I click back in the website and the discounted rate popped back up. So nice. I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. I'm just going to delete the support ticket real quick and <laughs> buy my game. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I saw uh Yeah, I saw Diablo 3 for cheap mm -hmm. on uh for like the console. Yeah. I thought about it, but then I wasn't near anything and I didn't have money. That was kind of the first part. There's a bit, yeah. It's didn't, like didn't have the I money. Thought about, I didn't have any money. I yeah. just couldn't even yeah. Well, it's like I'm kind of sad that I was kind of broke on there because um, while we were there, my brother and, the, and my cousin were playing a lot of like Battlefield 4 mm -hmm. or 3. They were playing Battlefield 3. And so it got me wanting to play Call of Duty again. Oh. So I just like you saw you came in. I was playing uh, Modern Warfare 3. Yeah. And I'm like, man, I kind of want Ghosts now. <laughs> like I took a two year break. I didn't get Black Ops 2. Um, well, this would have been the, this is the second year because I haven't gotten Ghost yet. But now it's like full price, and I could have gotten it for like thirty, thirty-five, yeah. if I'd had the money on Black Friday. It happens. Yeah, games are expensive. They're ridiculously expensive. Yeah, that's why I love Steam sales. <laughs> yeah. Uh, every time, every time I close out Star Trek and something pops up, it's like Steam sales seventy-five percent off. All right, let's take a look. That, that's like three bucks for a game. That that's all right. Let's try that out. Okay, we'll we'll take a look at that. Yeah. Yeah, a friend of mine just got introduced to Steam because uh, uh, another one of our friends was like, hey, you should get Borderlands 2, and it ended up being like $7. And so he bought it, and he had to make a Steam account or whatever. And so now he's like, oh, my God, there's all these games for, like, really cheap. And I was like, <laughs> welcome to Steam. Welcome to Steam. That's right. And we haven't even gotten to the Steam winter Christmas sale yet. Mm -mm. They had the autumn sale real quick, but now we're, then they'll be like, all these games are, like, super cheap now. Super, super cheap. Yeah. But I don't play PC games, really. I don't come down into this room that much anymore. That's the, that. That's why I, I made sure I sent you that link to the uh, Mac beta for Star oh, Trek. Yeah. Still have not downloaded it. The, this Mac has not left this room for a pretty long time. Okay. Like, it just sits over there. What if they came out with an iPad app? Then I'd probably play it. <laughs> You'd be all over me like, dude. This <laughs> I just bought a new. Uh, I just bought a new board game for the iPad. Uh, Lords of Waterdeep. It's okay. a D and D game. Ah. It's it's a board game. Or, hmm? Is it just like the map layout or a, a whole? 
like the setting is D and D related. Okay. The board game itself is you are a lord's, or you are everybody's a lord of this city in in the Forgotten Realms. It's called Waterdeep, and you take actions. It's a work replace. It's called a work replacement game because you have like two people, and each turn you can do one of so many actions. But if somebody else claims that spot, then you can't do that action. So you're trying to like build up points while trying to like do things before other people take those spots. Okay. So it's a pretty it's pretty sweet. Mm-hmm. I might pull it. We could probably pull it up after we finish here. Sweet. Yeah. Play with stuff. Yeah. Speaking of the iPad stuff, iPads. I uh, <laughs> I uh, I pulled the trigger. He's getting fidgety. And um, <laughs> so so we 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 reattached the cord. We're no longer cord cutters. Uh oh. So I went three years without any live TV. Yeah, and then Friday, uh, we subscribed to and got installed to Dish Network, and got all that. There's now a little satellite dish on my house. Sweet. I don't know if you saw that. No, it's dark outside, man. Yeah. Can't see. Okay. It's pretty awesome. I went with Dish over Directv a because I didn't like the way Directv treated me last time, mm-hmm. and I liked because Dish has this app, and it's the Dish Anywhere because we got the Hoppa, the Hop, the Hoppa, the Hoppa. Hey, where's that thing we were watching? <laughs> Those commercials are hilarious. So I can Time watch for supper. this thing hooks into the, the hopper upstairs. And so I can pull up live TV on here as long as I'm on. It doesn't even have to be in the house. As long as I'm on a Wi-Fi network, because okay. I guess they don't want you doing it over a cell. So as long as I'm on a Wi-Fi network on that, on my, on my iPad, on my phone, I can watch my TV. I can watch live anything I can watch on my TV upstairs. I can watch on my phone. Sweet. Or tablet or whatever. But I found out, because you know how they always get you with the boxes? Yeah. So we managed to reduce our price. We only got two boxes. We got the hopper, and then we got the one in Chloe's room, because she watches TV a lot when she goes to bed. Okay. So we, we had to get one in there, and we got one in our room. So it ended up being like 50 bucks total. At least that's the introductory price. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. So, but I was like, I wonder... And while the guy was in... St- it was funny... Um, I asked the installation guy and he's like, I don't know. That's a good point. And so after everything got set up and he left, uh, later on when Ashley was here, I was like, I'm curious. And as we were messing around with the thing, I flipped it back on the main TV to our Apple TV, mm-hmm. pulled up the, um, pulled up the dish app on here and see if Send saw the Apple TV, I airplayed it to the Apple TV. Sweet. So now I don't need another Joey if I, or that's what the, the other boxes are called. Uh huh. I don't need another one. Like, if I want to watch TV down here, I just need to get an Apple TV uh-huh, for here. I get it. And I could just airplay it from my from my phone or from my tablet to the Apple TV. They, they call it a Joey. Yeah. Because the Hoppa's kangaroo. logo is a kangaroo. And it's a jo- ah. Yeah. Ah. So, ah. I can pay clever. one time 100 bucks for an Apple TV versus, like, seven a month. Yeah. So after almost like after a year, you've made up the price of the Apple TV. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, so yeah. that's pretty sweet. You just have Apple TV all over. <laughs> AirPlay. Yep. Just make sure make sure your AirPlay settings are working right. Why? There 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 was there, there was there was somewhere there was something I was reading um, months ago. This kid was uh, he was watching some you know NSFW content. On his uh, oh, he hit AirPlay and it no, went... he didn't hit AirPlay. He was he had it connected to an external monitor. Uh oh. All right, he was just and he wanted to move from his desk to his bed, so he unplugged it from the external monitor, and somehow AirPlay kicked itself in. Nice to the TV downstairs, <laughs> where his entire family was watching something. <laughs> That's awesome. That is so amazing. It's like, it's like, yeah, that's one of the bad things about Apple perfectly synchronizing across <laughs> all these devices. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. So yeah, today I was like watching TV and I was like, oh, football's on. Football. I don't watch football. <laughs> and what then, is a shenanery? And then I put on football and then I'm like, wait a minute. Because we, Ash and I are Ravens fans, and then Ash is like, "Oh, I want to see the Redskins. I want to see the Redskins lose." So Ashley's like, "Don't we have picture in picture?" Like we do have picture in picture. 
and not just the side or not just the picture in the pic the, you know, the little no the little right no we have yeah. like side by side oh, sweet so now it's like i'm not watching just one football game i'm watching two football Woo. games you should do that for like a bunch of tv shows and stuff too now which uh which picture is the sound uh, whichever one's active. Okay. Like the it's the one on the left. Like you flip it. Your main then, one. Okay. Yeah. But it does. It's like you remember how when widescreen was a thing when we had square TVs and you had the bars. Mm -hmm. It's like that on the TV because it's like equal to equal sized windows, so you gotcha. get the bars on the top. So eventually, I wanted to see the whole thing. We ended up putting the Redskins game in the small in window. In the yeah. Because it started just going crazy and they lost. So, okay, I I popped up. I was looking at some report on the news and it was uh, or on MSN and they were like, uh, yeah, Redskins fans are fleeing the loss. Okay? <laughs> they're just <laughs> apparently they're all ah. fair weather fans. <laughs> Pun intended. Oh, oh, like that was stupid. I actually liked watching the game though. Kind of sad. Game? It was like, it was oh, the like game. wow, the Ravens game. Oh, okay, I was like. So this is why people watch football. Yeah. Okay. It's so that you get into it and you start yelling at the screen and you just. Well, no, because the the last four minutes, no, in the last two minutes of the game, they scored three touchdowns, mm -hmm. like three touchdowns between the two teams. Hmm. So like Ravens or the Vikings are playing. Vikings are winning. Two minutes left. Ravens score. Ravens are now winning. Hmm. One play later. <laughs> Or, excuse me, the, uh, I'm trying to think the way, oh, no, it was worse than that. So, two minutes, Ravens score, we're now winning. Oh, my God. Yeah. We just need to get the ball back, and we could, we could you know, kick the ball off. Next pass, guy managed to get wide open, blazes <laughs> right for the touchdown. We're now losing again. Huh. Are you kidding me? There's, like, a minute 40 left, or, you know, like, a minute... 30, minute 40. Goes to kickoff. Ravens return the kickoff for a touchdown. For a touchdown. That's awesome. <laughs> We're now winning again. <laughs> and then everything's going fine. Middle of the play, just one of the, like, third down or whatever. Second, third down. Vikings manage to get another breakaway, go in for another touchdown. There are 40 seconds left in the game. And we're down again. Ravens get the ball back, or you know, make an effort down the field, and then ten seconds left, or no, excuse me, it was ten seconds on the play, but they managed to get it into the end zone with four seconds left on the clock. Yeah, yeah. So they basically just kicked the ball off and then put it down, and then the Ravens win. I was just like, Ash and I were just looking at each other, like, what the heck did we just watch? That's why we watch football. I know stuff like that happens. I know. On and a then, good on a good game. On a good game. And then you, you see those uh you, you see those people you see those commercials, they're beer commercials, but they're about football and it's like, wow, Alex is Alex is really nuts. He's like destroying my house. And you see this guy, he's just crazy about the game, like throwing stuff. Ah! He's like But every time Alex has been over watching the game, we've won. And then it's like it only it's only weird if it works. <laughs> <laughs> And you see people like it's they got that uh, superstitious song in the background. You see people in like the bars and stuff, and they're waving the towels over their head, <laughs> and they're they're rubbing the bald guy's head. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's only weird if it doesn't work. That's like the people the uh, the, the the people that go in the playoffs and never change their underwear. Yes, <laughs> and that's it's nasty. nasty. <laughs> it's nasty. Okay, you can have like your favorite draws. Wash them suckers though. Okay, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I mean? But they do. They have routines. It's like, yeah. all right, the last four times we won, I always had... Where's my lucky t-shirt? Exactly. Like, or like, I always had delivering onions from <laughs> oh. Mama Lucia's oh. right across the street. Okay? And then Mama Lucia's closes and exactly. you have like it's a like, meltdown. <gasps> <laughs> How am I going to get my lucky delivering onions? <laughs> How did we go down this rabbit hole? I, I, no I think idea. we've jumped geek train. We jumped geek train. We're now football geeks. Oh, no. We're still geeky. I don't know. But no. Maybe if we were talking about football games. Video games. Video games? Yes. Those suck. They do suck. It's terrible. I have I ha that's that's one of the reasons I love like modern warfare and those type of games. Okay. Because I can't actually go do outside that. and shoot my friends. Okay. <laughs> I can go outside and play football with my friends. Yeah. Okay. I suck, but I can do it. But you can't have John Madden uh talking about your game. That's right. I can't. 
can't have John Manica. And that's the way that is. We're just sitting here. The guy's got to get the ball, and he's got to run in for a touchdown. <laughs> Who was that? Was that Frank? No, I was listening to Jason had a bunch of uh, Frank Caliendo stuff in his. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got like John Madden and Arnold Schwarzenegger, and they're all talking about football. He's like, and then he always, and that's just the way that is. <laughs> it's like, what are you talking about, John? He's like, <laughs> I think it's safe to say everyone came here to watch a game of football. John, we're a commercial. <laughs> yeah, I know. Just making conversation. Football. So, uh, you been you been catching up on any uh, Walking Dead with your Hulu Plus or whatever subscriptions and all that? No, I had to and... buy. It. We have to buy it. Oh, okay. On iTunes, which uh, did you, are you caught up? Yeah. Uh, no, but I know what happened. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know what happened. Yeah. Carol killed some little kids. She was teaching little kids how to kill. Yeah, and the governor's Mich- Michonne dead. gutted the governor after With- Herschel got his head chopped off. Yeah, yeah, it's all great. Which is great because at, during the third season we started to veer off a lot from the comics, and now we're back. Like the end of the, the <laughs> took a nice sharp <clears throat> back. Yeah, the ending the the ending of the last one, the mid season finale or whatever, pretty much sharped us right back to what happened in the comics, and we're now pretty much like there we go. You know, well, they they've done that at the very first season, right? It was like the CDC. Well, we were taking a we- what the deuce. Well, CDC, yeah, but like for a while there, we were taking a hard right from the comics, and it was like we have left comics behind. <laughs> we're just doing our own thing, and I was like, okay, that's fine. It was great TV. I'm I'm, I'm okay. You know, <laughs> keep making good TV. I don't care if it matches the comics, but then they like st- steered it right back. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Now I need to read more in the comics. Hey. For for all we really care, they're making great TV. They could have gone off and like, all of a sudden the zombies become sentient. I, re- and start I mean, I like government. I like it when it's next <laughs> to the comics and I understand what's going on a little bit more. But if they're gonna go do their own thing, as long as it's good and it's not like half a season of us looking for Sophia. Yes. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I just like as, the, that was one thing is when we watched the last episode. I was like, I hope to God, like, because there was the part where it was like, where'd Carl go? Uh huh. And I was like, if we have half a season of Where's Carl, you know, I'm going to lose my mind. Yeah. So stupid. <coughs> <coughs> but they fixed it. Yeah. So now they're back. Yeah. I'll tell you what I've been watching, and I have a new favorite show, or a new show I'm watching, though. Yeah? Arrow. Really? Yeah. Okay. I love that show now. Um, so, uh, it's about the Green Arrow. Yeah. Comic show. Comic so, show. DC comic show. Um, so Green Arrow was in Smallville, Mm -hmm. so we already had, like, a whole bunch of Green Arrow stuff in there. They decided to just dump all of that and start fresh. Okay. New people, new storyline. Um, the first season's about kind of, like, so Oliver Queen threw some sabotage. He was on a boat with his dad. Boat blew up, and, uh, he gets washed ashore on this island. Uh, first he's in a raft with his dad and a couple of... Did he have his swim trunks and his flippy floppies? No. So dad kills himself yeah. and he said before and he's like, I failed the city. You must right my wrongs kind of thing. Gives him a list of names of like people that have just done terrible things in the city. Okay. Um, like you come find out like somebody's like, uh, they took a whole bunch of uh, incentives to like um, take shortcuts in building low income housing so that people have bunch of died through like lead poisoning and all sorts of stuff. Okay. And just all like, like corporate scumbags basically is what the list is. Gotcha. And so he's sp- Oliver ends up spending like five years on the Island. He becomes like ripped and you know, learns how to shoot arrows and stuff comes back, becomes, he becomes, he doesn't become green arrow. He, That's right, he had some other name first. He's like the hood. Yep. So, and he's just a vigilant. He's just like killing people, like left and right. <laughs> like he just like I don't care. Pfft, you're dead. Boom. And so the first season's all about this list. And finally, at the end of the last season, or the end of the the first season, stuff happens that makes him kind of like, you know, he doesn't know what he's gonna do anymore. And the second season starts off with he's just kind of lost or whatever. And then he ends up coming back and deciding. If he's going to do what he's going to do to save his city, he needs to completely change himself and be more of a hero, not a vigilante. So yeah. then he does like, I'm not going to kill anymore, and I'm not the hood anymore, and he ends up being <laughs> Arrow kind of instead. And I love it because, especially someone like me that knows a lot about DC Comics, they just drop 
the episodes are just filled with all this little like Easter eggs. Okay. Like some of them they elaborate on, like one of the guys that he's stranded on the island with, he finds this mercenary called Slade Wilson, who is uh, Deathstroke. Okay. Um, you know, or they'll just have like little tidbits here and there. Like you'll hear of like this season, you keep hearing about a particle accelerator run by star labs. Hmm. Um, uh, just like, you know, you'll hear names like industries of different things. I don't think of any Batman related things yet. Other than, uh, Ross Al Gould has been mentioned once. Okay. Um, the last, the mid season, the first part of the mid season finale, uh, Barry Allen shows up pre, you know, the flash pre flash. Okay. Yeah. He's not the flash yet, but there's like a really funny part where he's in this lab with these uh, up against these chemicals. And he's like, this uh, nitrosine next to hydraulic acid and this next to this, you're just asking for trouble. And like, as he's doing that thunder strikes in the, or lightning strikes in the background. And so for <laughs> someone like me that, you know, that like, that's how he gets his powers in the comics. You're just like, Oh, that's cute. Like that. I like it. Th- you know, that's nice. I like that. That's pretty good stuff. Yeah. But supposedly there's going to be, they're, they're bringing Barry Allen in cause they're going to do a spinoff of the, for a flash. Okay. Show, but really good. Highly recommend Arrow. Sweet. I look at. It. I've been. Uh, th- there's a. There's a website. <coughs> it's Coke and popcorn. Yeah. So it's like I can. You mention it like once every show. I do. It's and y- you know what the bad thing is. I keep plugging that website. Have never used it. <coughs> I'm just like aware of its existence. So have you used it now? No, I haven't used it now. Oh. No, still. We should usually get caught up on Arrow. Uh, I should usually get caught up on Arrow. She should get caught up on Walking Dead. I should yeah. get caught up on Yeah, but you know what happens in Walking Dead. But yeah, it's like, well, because people Facebook about it all the damn time. Oh, yeah. And then I'm following Walking Dead, so it, it's like the picture the picture I saw this week of Walking Dead was me shown pulling the knife oh. out of him. So I was like, well, okay. apparently the governor, governor dies. <laughs> <laughs> that just happened. <laughs> But I'm okay with spoilers like that. Yeah. Because then it's like, okay, I know what's going to happen. Let's let's see if I can pick out the clues yeah. on how it all got there. Because you, you, like, you sit there and you watch something three or four times in a row and you notice new stuff. Right. Well, it's like, I don't want to watch it three times in a row. I just want to watch it once. Tell me what happens, and then we're going to figure out how all this stuff happened. Yeah. And then, so... Yeah, the flash part that I knew that the Barry Allen was coming into Arrow was how I got started watching Arrow in the beginning. That's cool. So I was like, oh, the Flash is going to be in there? Well, I need to get caught up on this. And it's great because like all these tidbits I keep talking about, that they, they talk about the DC universe. Mm-hmm. It just makes this like expansive DC universe. I'm like, oh, DC's not doing it in the movies. They're doing it through this show. So DC's going to do better on TV than what Marvel's trying to do with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., yeah. which is okay, but could be better. Like, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is kind of like, if it wasn't a Marvel property, this thing would be canceled already. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. Even as a, it would be a typical Joss Whedon project if it didn't have Marvel attached to it. Wow. It's just, it's, it's good. It's just, could be better. Like, it's very stereotypical kind of right now. Okay. Maybe that's because Joss Whedon's not actually doing it. Like, he's, he's kind of like executive producer. Okay. And like his brother and... So it's like his name's on it. Yeah. And like he did the pilot. Okay. And then his brother's doing the rest, kind of leading the rest of it. Jed Whedon. We should tell Joss that Jed sucks. <laughs> it's just the, the the characterization's not fully there. There's a lot of ooh coolness, but that's about it. Okay. Because it's all supposed to be, uh, it's supposed to be like the aftermath of. Um, the the one that came, when when Thor came out, yeah, and then psh, that Agents of Shield was directly. This is yeah. what happened after Thor. Yeah, and that ended up being a little mm. bit of a wash. Mm. Like it's it, the tie-in was that the very beginning of the episode, they're in the city where Thor left off and just cleaning up a bunch of rubble. And Coulson makes a joke goes, "For once, can't we, can't we uh, encounter the god of cleaning up after himself?" <laughs> And okay, then, kind of and then that episode was very Asgardian themed, but it wasn't like oh. direct. There was, there could have been a little bit more kind of interconnectivity there. I still, whenever I hear like Asgard and Thor and stuff, Stargate. Oh yeah, that's where my mind pops to first. Speaking of which, Stargate. 
So before I jump onto that track, I um, mean, like I'm saying, Disney's got the money. Mm-hmm. Can't we just have like a little bit of like a split second Thor in there? You know? Did you ever see Thor? No, I haven't seen Thor yet. Oh. Like I want to. It looks pretty freaking amazing. It was pretty good. I'm sure I, I did can see find it. it somewhere. I don't know if I've talked about it here since. No, we haven't talked about it here. Okay. I'm sure I can find it somewhere. Oh. <laughs> Arr. Don't know what you're talking about. Arr. <laughs> Arr. That <Movies>. movie. <laughs> Guess what movie that's not rated? Arr. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> Stargate. Yesterday, get up, go downstairs. I have TV now. I'm going to see what's on TV. <laughs> go on sci fi. Arc of Truth is on. I'm like, all right. And then, like, after Arc of Truth was Stargate Continuum. Yes. And I was like, sweet. Which. I didn't like Continuum. Yeah. I really feel that Continuum could have been a two-part episode somewhere in one of the seasons. It could have. Somewhere in like the 10th season. Yeah. All right. Now, Arc of Truth was that amazing. was a very good... That should have been the series finale. Yeah. Well, technically it was. Because like... It was had... the finale of the Ori storyline. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, that was pretty beast. Yeah. Okay. You know, take it... They didn't know. They didn't take the... De- the Deadless got destroyed, didn't it? No, Deadless is in the Pegasus Galaxy. They had the... Odyssey? The Odyssey, that's what it was. Because Daedalus, Pe- Daedalus and Apollo are in... Uh, Pegasus. Pegasus Galaxy. Yeah, yeah and so it was Prometheus, which got destroyed. And then it was Odyssey and the... General the... Hammond. Yes. General Hammond. And there was, the also, the, there was also the uh, Russian... That's right. The Russian one that blew that was only around for an episode. For an episode, because they blew it up. It, they, they, they rushed it into service is what they did. Right, because the Ori were coming through the super gate, <laughs> like, and then they were just like, beep, it's like, exploded. Oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap. They survived one hit. Yeah. That's Enough like, for <laughs> Jackson to beam away. That's right. All the all the Hatak vessels and stuff are just going to go. I really want to watch death. the series again now. It just made me want to watch Stargate again. Stargate is an amazing series. Yeah, especially Atlantis because I think the last two seasons I didn't really see too much of. So now that I think most of it's on Netflix, yeah, I think I may need to go back and, and like, watch it. Atlantis was cool stuff too. There was a lot of oh yeah, a lot a lot of um. They they portrayed a lot of power in the leaders. Yeah. And that's one of the things it's like that's the kind of loyalty and power I want. I I'm sorry, uh, but like it if you Atlantis, the only reason that like that that show was great, but it was mainly like the main reason I was watching that show was Rodney McKay and um and Shepherd. And and John Shepard. And Shepard. Yeah. Just like those two <laughs> characters just made the whole show watchable. Oh, just nipping at each other. Well, yeah, and just there's there's one episode there's one episode where they have to they have to save this little princess and uh, they go to a planet with a bunch of uh, mini drones. Okay. Like the like the puddle jumpers fire. Uh huh. Um, and because John has a a pure gene, uh, Rodney has a synthetic gene. Yeah. To control stuff, um, jo- they're they're trying to protect this little girl from people who are trying to kill her and John runs over to this console and puts his hand on it to quick control the drones, but. Uh, the little girl's like, "Oh, Rodney, you were my savior," because he, I don't know, he gra- he like shoved her behind this pillar and picks up the P90 and is just like running through clips trying to keep these guys' heads down. And uh, <laughs> they, there's this giant painting commissioned in his honor. It shows her huddled behind the rock, him all fierce and just ah. <laughs> and it shows it shows Shepard just like cowering in fear in one of the corners. <laughs> And I was like, that's awesome. <laughs> the, the the one episode where he and Dr. Zelensky thought they were playing a game. Oh, yeah. And, I thought it was Shepard and them. Th- Shepard and McKay like, were playing a game. Pretty much everybody got involved with yeah. it. And, and um, it turned out it was like, it was like ages of, Age of Empires, but it was actual people. Actual planets and people. <laughs> it's like they, they gate into a planet and they're like, uh, yeah, Dr. Weir, you got to see this. And they show a picture of the flag and it's Rodney's face. <laughs> I'm like, they did amazing stuff in Atlantis. Yeah. I love the, uh, he's like, oh yeah, it's a, it's a gate ship. What? We don't go to a gate ship. It's a ship. Goes through the gate. Gate ship. No, 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 no. Why don't we call it a puddle jumper? Yeah, there we go. No, I love how that joke continues though. 
Like it continues out through the show. Like there's the episode. Uh, it was like the season finale of episode or of season eight of SG one where they go back in time to get the ZPM and then they end up making it. So the, the Stargate never happened or whatever. Mm -hmm. And, uh, they end up finding the Stargate and sending up the program or whatever. McKay's in charge of it and stuff. He's like, all right, get ship one. Ready to go. <laughs> and Why then, get ship like, one? And then, uh, <laughs> was it Carter or O'Neill? It was O'Neill that was, was like, why get ship? And then like back in the control room, you're seeing him. It was like, ship, go, get, 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 get ship. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love, uh, you have to look for it. Uh, there are two episodes in particular. Um, there's, there's a giant outtake reel, uh, when they find the uh, Antarctic gate uh -huh. and the outtake reel, she's like, oh, oh I'm stuck in a frigging cave with MacGyver. We can't make anything. Ah. Uh, but yes. there's, there's two specific episodes um, where they use MacGyver as a verb. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And um, in the very first episode where they, they talk about how they made a DHD. Yeah. Like, oh, we MacGyvered a couple of computers and Richard Dean Anderson smirks. <laughs> All right. He smirks. He can't nice. help himself. And then like, a couple seasons later, they do the same thing and everybody, Smirks. Nice. It's just like, yeah, we MacGyver. It's like, yeah, MacGyver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I watched uh, Continuum, and I saw... I have a MacGyver theme going in my head right now. <laughs> nice. I saw General <laughs> Hammond there, and I was like, oh. Yeah. It's like, so oh, sad. come on, George. Hammond. What was it? Don S. Davis? Of Texas. <laughs> 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 All right, we're, we're ending the show. We're going to watch some Stargate <laughs> I love now. love Braytac. Braytac's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, MacGyver. <clears throat> I used to watch that with my grandma because okay. Murder, Murder, She Wrote came on right after it. Oh, so we'd watch gosh. MacGyver, then we'd watch Murder, She Wrote. Okay. And that, that J.B. Fletcher, all right, you ever see her come to town, you call the cops. <laughs> Every time she goes somewhere, someone dies. Okay. <laughs> No, 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 she saw the murder. No, bitch did it, okay? <laughs> okay. Every time she comes to town, someone dies. What is her what is her real name? Jessica? Angela Lansbury. If I ever see Angela Lansbury. I'd probably get a pass too. I'd be like, hey, hey, hey. Watch the show. All right, I'm gonna have to call the episode there. Calling the episode. You there. went to murder. She wrote. I went to murder. She and wrote. Like, it just happened. We gotta we gotta get out of here before, the, before it can only go downhill from here. We're gonna talk about start talking about knitting next. Ugh. Besides, I'm gonna watch Stargate now. I'm watch Stargate. Yeah, yeah. So, thank you guys. Oh, that's Philip. That's me. Yeah, there yeah, we go. Yeah. Thank you guys for listening to this episode. We we love your comments and feedback. Send it to us. Feedback at ocdcast.com. Dot com. We'd love to hear from you. You can also talk to us on Twitter and Facebook. I'm at Chris the Prof. Philip is at Philip underscore OCD. And on Facebook, we're at or facebook.com slash obsessive comics disorder. And all this information is at ocdcast.com. Dot com. So. Once again, thanks guys for watching this. We'll be back probably another episode out before Christmas time. Hopefully. So in the meantime, I'm Chris. I'm Philip. And we will see you guys next time. In the middle of my backswing! <laughs> the giant bowl of oatmeal. <laughs> Why? Sometimes you just want change. <laughs>